First of all, um, thank you, Joanna Vicent, for your dedication. Congratulations. We'll miss you. We're so proud of you. It was the summer of 2002, and I found myself standing on the Brooklyn Bridge. It was my very first day on the job as the city's film and television commissioner, and we had just shut down the bridge to shoot a video recreating the Olympic torch relay. It was just months after 9-11, the city's future was in doubt. The Olympic bid was one way of showing the world that New York would never give up. Luckily for us, John Kamen, a boy from Queens, wanted to help us write the city's comeback story. John volunteered Radical Media, the company he co-founded in 1993, to produce the city's Olympic videos. We didn't end up winning the Olympics, but that was okay, because we struck gold with John and Radical. John and his team became true partners for us, Project after project, they stepped up to help the city. They designed the Made in New York logo, which can now be seen around the world, and it even made it on the cover of The New Yorker just a few months ago. They helped us develop a marketing strategy for promoting filmmaking in the five boroughs and promoting the incredible talent here. And they worked on campaigns promoting the 311 hotline that Mayor Bloomberg created. And after Hurricane Sandy, John and Radical helped us with community projects in Jamaica Bay. John has given so much back to our city and he's given so many people in the creative community amazing opportunities to tell stories and reach diverse audiences. From the film, The Fog of War, to the pilot for Mad Men, to the documentary on Hamilton, John has helped raise the bar for excellence in filmmaking. And I've been pretty lucky to continue to work with John at Bloomberg Philanthropies. John was our partner for our very first documentary about the coal industry called From the Ashes, which aired on National Geographic. And together, we're so excited to release in just a few days our second co-production on climate change from Paris to Pittsburgh, which will also air on National Geographic. And at Radical's downtown office, the sign over the door reads, Radical Media Never Established. That's John's spirit, always embracing change, always innovating, always exploring. And before I call him up to say just a few words, here's a quick look at just some of the extraordinary creations. <laughs> 